Hello guys. On this segment, we're gonna talk about my settings for what I use for astrophotography. So for all my Milky Way shots or my star shots and stuff like that, we're gonna start off with my basic rules on, uh, it's not really rules because it's just a starting point. You know, I don't like the term rule 500, but this is the easiest way for me to explain to you on what we're gonna do here. So when I first go out, I'm gonna to try to figure out what lens am I gonna use? Is it I'm gonna use the 14 millimeter or 24 millimeter 1.4? So it all really depends. So right now, um, I currently shoot with Rokinon. They have the best for fixing coma and stuff like that, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the Rule 500. The best way for me to explain why, is, you know, why they're using the rule of 500 is pretty much it's just a basic starting point where you don't want star trails. So star trails is when you take a picture and your stars are kind of oblong shaped. So it's not a dot, you know, like how stars are supposed to come out. It will start to get oblong. So the main problems that people have is, is when they go take a picture they focus and when they go to go preview it and look at it the stars aren't perfectly dotted it's it's kind of oblong and they think that they're not in focus so they'll sit there for 20 30 minutes in the darkness trying to get the focus in and stuff like that and the one of the main thing is once you get in focus and your shutter speed is too long it'll start to trail off so people will sit there and thinking like their focus is wrong but but pretty much what it is is their settings are off. So the main settings that I see what people do, like uh, new beginners whenever they go shoot, is they'll turn on the camera, open their aperture wide open, set it for 30 seconds, bump up the ISO to like 3200, and they just can't get in focus. Well, the main problem is your shutter speed is way too long, and you start to trail off. So what the rule of 500 is, you would just, it's really simple and easy. It's you take 500, divide that by your focal length. So your focal length is pretty much your, your lens, it's how many millimeters. So what the 35 you know, millimeter full frame, 24 millimeters is 24 millimeters. So if you're shooting on a crop sensor, so I shoot, currently shoot on A7R2, and I know a lot of people shoot with an A6000 or A6300. And uh, the, the way the Rule 500 works is you want to take your, your focal length, multiply that by 1.5, your crop sensor. Or if you're on a Canon, I believe the Canon is a 1.6. So pretty much with the same 24 millimeter on a crop body on let's say an A6300, would be 24, multiply that by 1.5, and then yeah, 500 divided by that number, and that will get you your, your, your shutter speed your before star trail starts. So with the Rule 500 on mine, it is it comes out with 24 millimeter, it comes out to 21 seconds. So 21 seconds is the max I want to use before I start to get star trail. So what you want to do is you want to always round down from that number. So 21 seconds, the nearest shutter speed would be 20 seconds. So my base would be 20 seconds at wide open. And I like to start off with my ISO around 3200. So what, let's say you're going with a crop sensor, let's say you go with the A6300. So with the Rule 500, you would take 24, multiply that by 1.5 will give you Pretty much a crop of 36 or 500 divided by 36 will equal 13.8 seconds. So it's, it's definitely going to be shorter because it's giving you a, pretty much a, a longer focal length just because you're putting it onto a crop sensor. So 24 is going to equal to about 36. So for crop sensors, you start off at 13.8 seconds. So the nearest shutter speed will be 13 seconds. So a good starting point for crop sensor will be 13 seconds shutter speed 
open it wide open as big as you can. Pretty much your aperture will be pretty much your, the lowest number, thus by mean by open it wide open. And then ISO 3200. So that's normally just the base on what we're gonna start off with right now. And uh, you're gonna take your first your first picture and you're gonna see how that comes out. And from there, the reason why I said yeah you know, I don't like the the word yeah you know, I mean the word rule is because it's not really a rule. You don't have to take pictures with that. Just it's a good starting point. So for me, it would be it depending on light pollution, if the moon's out a little bit, and I want to take you know the Milky Way. You know you got to work with your eyes. Sometimes you just can't go shoot when it's a new moon when there's no moon. So you pretty much just start off with that and then move around with your shutter speed and move around with your ISO. Let's say you're getting really good pictures at 15 seconds. Your ISO is at 3200. Yeah, just go off with that. So from there, just try not to go above whatever your recommended your your re your recommended rule of 500 number is. Try not to go above it. Go below if you have to, and then go from there. Um, ISO is another thing to work with. Is yeah, it's definitely gonna. That's the last thing you want to mess around with, because the higher your number goes up, the more the more noise you're gonna get from it. So if you're shooting with an A7S, obviously you could go up to 25,000 or whatever and still produce amazing pictures. But you know, we're shooting with what we have. So that's the last thing you want to do. So, so normally you would just start off, here's the setting of what you're going to do. This normal start off would be aperture. Set your aperture, open it wide open. Set your, your shutter speed and your ISO at a baseline of, let's say, 3200. And if you're a little bit overexposed, bump down your ISO. So the main goal of shooting is you want a longer shutter speed. So the reason why you want a longer shutter speed is because you could gather more protons, more light protons. Rather than having a shorter shutter speed with a higher ISO, you won't get as much stars in your pictures. It would just be brighter. So what a longer shutter speed will give you more, obviously more stars in your picture because you're going with a longer shutter speed which gathers more protons rather than just making it brighter from your ISO. Okay, from here, pretty much you would just take your shot and you just go from there. So hopefully this, this section would help you out. Um, on my website, on rensushi.com, um, I'll make a I'll make a table for you guys. You know, you guys could just download it, take a screenshot, or whatever, or you know, just put it in your notes. Because obviously, you're not gonna go out there with five, six, seven different lenses. You're gonna go out there with one lens. You know, most likely it's gonna be you know a fully manual lens, or if not, just set it to manual. Or always remember, shoot it in manual. Don't shoot it in auto. So from there, that should be it. And hopefully um, this video will help you out with your shooting. And I look forward to seeing your pictures. You know, just tag me in your pictures.